What's going on guys? It is Expo Jesse and as promised here is the video on how to backtest options on on demand via the Thinkorswim platform. So if you watched my last video, it's the one uploaded right before this one, how to backtest using TradingView and Google Sheets. Uh, obviously you're not backtesting on Google Sheets, you're just using it. But the Google Sheet that I use has a template for options trackers. So it's just going to be options, uh, type of trade, your options, you know, date open, date close, ticker symbol, strike price, call or put, uh, expiration date, purchase price, sold price, and percent return. Um, all these are already going to be calculated for me, so we're just going to go through an example. Uh, we actually already went through this example in our last video with a couple trades, uh, but we're going to focus on just this one here. Uh, it's just going to be a really short and simple video on how to use Thinkorswim's On Demand. So if you open Thinkorswim, up here in the top right will be On Demand. If you click it, you will get a little buffer here. Then at the top left, right above Account Info, it'll show you uh, on the On Demand platform. You get a virtual account, just like paper trading, and uh, yeah, I think you get yeah 200 grand or 100 grand using for uh, option buying power. I use and have used on demand for for everything I've ever back tested in the stock market because you can go back to a random date and just load up stocks from you know say you wanted to to buy a hundred grand worth of all the stocks that you believe are good for a retirement portfolio and you wanted to buy them right after the you know or right before the 08 crash you can go back to 2006 or or where, whenever load up all those load up some leaps if you want to do leaps or or what have you and then just forward test and and simulate going back to that so um you'll just click this little date here it'll show up a calendar so i already know that uh, the back testing one was on the 25th of july at 12 10 and i'll make it zero zero just so uh nothing gets uh, messed up there the top left you'll see the pre-buffering there and then when that stops it'll obviously depend on the the power of your PC but when that stops let me close all these watch lists sorry uh, it'll be just as if you were trading in real time at 1210 on July 25th I have seen these um, work in the past and and the the data has been spot on um, obviously don't don't quote me on that but uh, it's been very, very good for me and accurate for me as well. So in this example, we look at uh, the, the ES features and uh, we're going to play some SPY and SPX puts. So I said that the trigger was under this white line. If you watched the previous video, it's under that white line. We first crossed that on this candle at 1210. So like I said, think or swim 1210. Now we're going to look at what contracts we're going to buy. So I'm going to go to the the closest expiration and go to all strikes. And these are going to load up all the strikes. And like I said, it's been pretty darn um, reliable for me. So then you just load up, you know, if you want to make it as realistic as possible, you know, put however many contracts you would normally buy there. And then I say I usually just do market so that it triggers immediately. I got filled at 96, so right in the mid there, you know, the bid's at 95 and the ask is at 97. So that's SPY. And then say you want to back test the difference between SPY and SPX. So we'll go to our the SPX ticker and do the same concept. So look for something with high volume around that level. So we'll go there and pick 10 of those orders as well. Market should get filled at $1. Exactly. So now if I go through back to here and I know from back testing, let's go back here. So this is all I see, right? So as soon as I'm deep in profits, so we'll say let's go to 1214. So what you would do is you can click the calendar and hit four on the plus, you know, as you can see, it goes to 1214. The little double arrow with a, this this one right here, step forward will, will mark you uh, 10 minutes in the future or the past. 
and then you can hit play and it'll play in, as in real time and then the uh, fast forward button will obviously keep you fast forwarded so we will go ahead and of course I buy puts so let's fix that all right bought calls instead of puts for a, for a bear signal so we'll just go on the flippity flip here and uh, buy 10 of these just like that you guys just get to see more reps get put in here no biggie and then the 395 are gonna be pretty darn similar as well so we're, we'll do 12 of those to get me to a thousand and then like I said we're gonna go forward till 1214 so uh, it's paused here so I know my quotes are up to date and then as you can see my P&L percentage uh, are updated on both so what I'll do now is go on to my trading view here and kind of see what I can do. So I'll open up my back testing. Date opened was July 25th. Date closed, same thing. We have a spy. We I bought the 394 or 395 puts. Expiration was July 25th. I bought them for as you can see here, trade price 0.76, and I trimmed at 0.975, well, 0.97. And then I'll just hit the control and go down for that one there, and then control and over to do the same date. SPX, 39.25 puts, uh, 725. I bought for 98 cents, and they are $1.37 right now. And then, as you can see, it auto-calculates the wins and the losses. So, for example, if I go down here and just click and drag, but I say this was a $1 and I got in for $1.50, it'll calculate your wins and losses here. And uh, I will actually add an average win and average loss column here at the, at the top after the video is done. So, if you do want to use the backtesting template that I have, I will add it into my link tree and you are more than welcome to use it. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the video, how to backtest using on demand for options. Hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or hit me up on Twitter or Discord. And uh, yeah, my links are in my bio. If you need anything at all, uh, like I said, the backtesting template will be down there. So yeah, have a good one, guys.